Hello again, everyone. Michael here with Felicity. November 8033 Foxtrot, a Cessna plate training device that I built here at home. Hello again, everyone. Michael here. Hope with everyone Felicity. has had a uh, good Friday, the 30th of December, 2022. It is almost the new year. Um, we are going to go for our Wings IFR 11 rating from Boston Virtual ARTCC. Um, Money on Rage, hello, welcome. Um, just getting ready to uh, go over our pre flight and routing and uh, flight plan for our uh, flight and uh, hopeful rating this evening. Uh, let's take a look at the Wings IFR 11 um, specifics. Test standards state that we are to depart. Echo Whiskey, Echo Whiskey Bravo, in accordance with ATC, and navigate efficiently to uh, the Providence VOR. Then we're going to fly the ILS Runway 6 approach at Plymouth via the Providence VOR. Without arriving at the Providence VOR between airway radials 09 or 3, and I'm assuming CW is clockwise, 132. Let's take a look at that real quick. Now if we pull up the Providence VOR, and it wants us to arrive there without, or arrive at the um, Providence without arriving between 09 or 3 and 132. And coincidentally, that's kind of where, uh, if we were going to go direct, that's kind of where that puts us, is where we shouldn't be flying. Original Godspeed, hello. Um, thank you. Hope you have a great, happy, and safe New Year's as well. Um, discussing our routing for this evening's flight. But uh, like I said, if we were to head direct to the VOR um, from our departure airport, that puts us in that zone where it looks like it does not want to supply without arriving between... Um, so it doesn't want to supply in that area but we don't know what type of departure procedure we're going to have either we just need to bear in mind that we're not going to fly to the Providence VOR via um, in between 0, 09 or 3 and 132 we're going to execute the missed approach procedure and enter the published hold and then when we're in the hold we'll negotiate an IFR clearance to Papa Whiskey Mike and join the assigned route Papa Whiskey Mike is north of Plymouth. Looks like it's Portland International Jetport. I am unfamiliar with the field, so we are going to do new craft on both of these airports we're going to be flying to. And uh, if anybody doesn't remember, new craft is NOTAMs, weather, known ATC delays, uh, runway lengths, alternates, fuel and takeoff and landing performance. Um, and since I am going to be unfamiliar with both of these fields, we are going to go over um, new craft on both of these uh, before we uh, depart. Like I said, we, we know we're going to go missed, but I would still like to know what's going to be available at the airport we're going to file our initial flight plan to. Alright, let's go back over here. And then flies the assigned approach at PWM correctly, including any applicable course reversal. So we may be on a get a back course approach. Don't know, don't know what uh what approach we're gonna be flying yet. Emma Stein, hello my friend, welcome. Um, we are discussing our uh, IFR 11 route and flight plan. Okay, training material. All right, so let's go over this this stuff real quick here. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at our departure. So we don't know what departure procedure yet. We don't know what runway is going to be active. We'll take a look at that, obviously, once we get that information. Um, but again, our key point is that uh, we don't want to arrive at the VOR 
between 0, 9, or 3 and 1, 3, 2. So we may, we'll probably have to fly north or fly south. Either way, we're, we got to navigate if, um, successfully to the VOR, which leads us to our approach at Plymouth. If we look at the ILS or localizer runway 06. Coming from the Providence VOR, that little squiggly line means the VOR is kind of that way more. Um, it's not actually the scale here, but looks like on the 099 radio outbound at 3000 feet to the above key. Um, initial fix, which is on a 056 outbound from the localizer at Plymouth. And at or below, th or at or above 3000, we're in 056, and then um, first approach fix at or above 1700. A Y E D E. We do have DME, so we may utilize that. Okay, visibility one mile, six hundred and twenty feet. <clears throat> okay. Let's go ahead and get this information written down. Our localizer at Plymouth. Is 109.35 and we will do a radio test with the uh, the nav radio just to make sure that, that localizer is working in, in X plane 12. Oh, what other frequencies do I want to write down that are known? We need our known frequencies. Uh, we don't know exactly what frequencies we need yet on VATSIM and who we're going to talk to just yet, but we do need our known navigational frequencies. Let's pull up our Providence VOR, which is actually right there on the plate as well. One one five point six. What else? Um, don't know what runway yet, so we're going to avoid zero nine or three to one three two arrival at PBD. Okay, localizer. Yeah, most of the, most of these uh, contact frequencies I'm not gonna rely on. Um, okay, but everything else is gonna be uh, uh, fixed as far as our navigational frequencies go. We know we're gonna go mist there. Let's take a look at our mist approach. Probably should have did that. Well, I had it up. We're going to climb to 600, then a climbing right turn to 2000 on heading 100, and on the Boston VOR radio 162 to Frito intersection, which is Boston 32.6 DME and hold. Okay. So on the mist, we're going to climb. Yes, I, I do write all of this stuff down in my um, knee pad so that I just so that I have it handy almost like a story. It may not be a fixed story, but it is a story that I can kind of read along. Um, so now I'm going to kind of climb to 600 feet and then a climbing right turn. So 
episode 2000 on heading 100. 100. And then on the Boston VOR DME R162. So let's look at, at that real quick. We're going to need to know that. It's right there, 112.7. Hope everyone had a great Friday, and thanks for coming in this evening, hanging out for a bit. And then that's on the R162. And obviously it's going to be from... To Frito and Hold. And how would we identify Frito? So, if we want to identify Frito, what, what was that exact DME? Do we remember? Did we write that down here? 32.6. Thirty-two point six DME from the Boston BOR is Frito, but if we were slant alpha, how would we identify that? Where's Frito again? It's Frito, okay. We could use the just the Marconi VOR. And two seven one. And at the intersection of Boston VOR thirty two point six DME and two seven one radio from the Marconi VOR. That would identify for you. Free dope if we were slant alpha. Either way, let's just write Frito is on the two seven one radial from Marconi. And that's one one four point seven. Okay. And then that's where we would enter the hold. Do we need to fly a procedure turn? Looks that way, huh? It doesn't say no procedure turn, so I'm going to assume the procedure turn. <clears throat> so, from Frito, we'll make a... Left-hand turn. Um, 45 degree left hand turn and we will fly outbound for one minute One minute would, would be all right. We go outbound, and then we make. And I guess we could make a right hand teardrop back in, and pick it up that way. Uh, but we'll make the forty-five degree left 
and then a 45 degree right on the 162. Alright, so that covers our mist. Then, like I said, once we're in the hold, then we'll go ahead and negotiate a clearance to um, top a whiskey mic. Which is Portland International Jet Port. Are there. I'm trying to decide if I want to file, actually file Slain Alpha and fly it Slain Alpha. I'm sure we'll be given a route anyway. Yeah, we're going to be assigned a route, so disregard what I just said. Join the assigned route. Okay. Alright, so we'll file Slain Alpha. We'll make it fun and interesting. All right, let's go back and discuss Newcraft real quick at Plymouth. Let's take a look at our notums. Nothing real applicable currently. Weather looks like it's clear below 12,000. Winds are favorable. Uh, it was going to be a, a good night to fly when I was uh, checking the weather earlier. And we are going to be using live weather on Batsim. Uh, runway lengths so we have 0, 06 and 24 at 4,350 feet, and then 1533, the same length, uh, both at the same width of 75 feet, and both are asphalt. Uh, doesn't say anything about right traffic, so we're going to have left traffic at both of those runways if for some reason we need to land there. Uh, um, there are a couple of different airports in the vicinity that could be possible alternates. Not going to know, I don't know about any ATC delays we're going to run into unless it's just going to be busy on the VATSIM network. Uh, so we got, we got plenty of runway, so I'm not going to get discuss too much about takeoff and landing performance at that airport. Let's talk about Portland real quick. And same thing, we'll go over this. It is a Delta. Uh, weather, winds are calm, skies are clear, visibility is 9. About the same temperature and humidity. Runways, uh, we have even longer runways available here. Uh, 1, 1, and 2, 9 at 7,200 feet and 1, 8, and 3, 6. So there's a north-south runway and kind of an east-west runway. Um, both of them are excellent asphalt. So plenty of runway there. Notums. Um, okay. Taxiway A run up pad for runway 11 closed. Permanent. Right, so, nothing really we need to be concerned about there either. And again, I don't expect any sort of ATC delays, but we never know what we're going to run into. Um, I guess let's just see what happens. Of course, what happens is 
uh, I do something wrong, and then we just have to try it again sometime. So, let's head over to the aircraft, and we'll get the rest of our frequencies, and we'll see if we can get this rating going. I'll see you over there in just a moment. Excuse me, and hello again everyone, and welcome aboard Felicity, November 8, 033 Foxtrot. Um, glad you found the aircraft alright. M. Stein, I appreciate that. Um, thank you for uh, coming along. Uh, and good luck on your uh, future readings as well. I'm just happy to see that you joined the Boston. We are in our Cessna 172 Sierra Papa Reality Expansion Pack. So let's make sure that we are utilizing the appropriate checklist. And as we discussed in the FBO, uh, we're going to get some additional frequencies once we connect to VATSIM here. Okay, we're uh, 172 today. Alright, let's choose another server. That one's busy. Oh boy.
too many clients connected. All right, that's fine. We have connected to the Canadian server. It was the next closest to our location. And, and theoretically, I'm not sure that it even actually matters. Yes, it is a Friday night FNO. Um, so light up a, uh, what was it that I saw here? Light up the New Year's, um, so they're trying to snap as many positions as possible, and I'm sure that's bringing a lot of, uh, a lot of people in. Okay. Let's do a weight balance fuel and uh, walk around real quick. weight of 2,502 pounds and a gross weight of 2,550 so we're close but we're fine Alright, we're 100 and 100 pounds shy of gross weight, of uh, gross takeoff. <laughs> so it's been a minute, that sim should populate some frequencies here. Uh, let's see, Boston Center. One three four point seven. And there's another center. One two three point seven five. And that was that says Boston West. So I think I'm in the east. There's an approach on. One three three point zero, but I don't think it's going to be us for departure yet. Okay. So if I'm correct, let's see, that Providence approach, so I don't think we'll be talking the Boston approach, and then the next step up is going to be Boston Center. So let's try Boston Center first, and worst case is we're given another frequency to talk to and have to give another whole cold call spiel. Speaking of, let's go ahead and fly our flight plan. Uh, we are IFR type 172. Departure was EWB, arrival, was plus. 
fun as right? Yeah, it's really fun. be our alternate in root time we'll just say an hour to our f initial file which was Plymouth a few endurance we had about five hours and 45 minutes airspeed is gonna be Let's say 120-ish altitude um, 2000. I think that's what our route was. Um, yeah, 2000. Alright, 2,000 feet is our cruise altitude. It is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, we'll just say 0, 1, 40. Route details, provenance. Alright, let's go over this real quick, make sure it's true and accurate. Uh, call sign's correct, IFR, aircraft, weight category, equipment. Okay, mm everything looks good there. We'll file that flight plan. Okay, get this bird started up. We already checked. Let's do a uh, quick walk around. Okay. I'm gonna kind of excite this a little bit. Uh, baggage door is secure. Rudder 
elevators working, rudder cables are tight on the left and right, elevators working, trim tab looks good. Right, flaps are down. Viewer intent is attached. Okay. That's what I want. Uh, fuel stop is good on the right. Flap heim joint is good. Right aileron is working. Fuel caps are on, installed, streamlined. No leaks that I can tell under the aircraft. All the tires are inflated. All of our lights are working. Taxi landing. Green on the right with the strobe. Red on the left with the strobe. Good evening. I'm Ryan, loving X Plane 12. Ever since I got it working smoothly in my system, I haven't flown X Plane 11 at all. Um, I actually right, walk around looks good. Um, left flap was good. L left aileron was good. All right, let's get back in here and get all of these loads off. Alright, uh, walk around was good. Uh, we'll move right along to our interior checklist where I give you a short passenger safety brief and simply tell you to keep your seatbelt on uh, throughout the duration of the flight. If you do feel uncomfortable, please let me know so we can terminate the flight. <coughs> Hobbs time 3237.6. And tack time is 5.7. Circuit breakers are all in. Alternate static test. Okay, that's good there. Alright, start checklist. Seat track. Let's get scooted up here so we can reach the flight controls, rudder pedals. Alright, that feels good. Avionics are off. Our autopilot's off. Throttle, we're going to go quarter, mixture is full lean, brakes are on, clear prop, it's clear on the left, clear on the right, clear up front, master on, beacon on, okay, mm. fuel pump, rich, lean, Fuel pump off. Throttle's quarter. In slightly. And max to start. Mixture to rich. Okay, we don't want to rev too fast yet. And we want to lean out here a little bit with these low RPMs right now. Let's go ahead and get our landing line on for safety. Um, need to wait a little bit for our oil temperature to come up. Okay, oil pressure is in the green. And that moves us right along to our pre-taxi checklist. That involves getting my seat belt on.
Okay. Flaps up. Let's get our heater on. Avionics on. And grab some weather. See if we can get weather here. One two six point eight five. Maybe. New Bedford information. Kilo 2010 Zulu arriving. Runway 23. Departing runway 23. Weather. Wind 210 degrees at 6 knots. Visibility more than 10 miles. Sky clear. Temperature 9 -er. 2.5 altimeter 3023 three. advise on initial contact you have information kilo 3023 three. puts us what is that right around 60 feet 65 feet kilo, 20, 10, Zulu, 79 one, feet two, three. Yeah, it's about two, that. Three. weather wind 210 degrees at 6 knots visibility more than 10 miles sky clear temperature 9 -er. 2.5 altimeter 3023 three. advise on initial contact you have information kilo one three four point seven for Boston Center Canada 693, contact Cleveland Center, 119.87. Got our weather. American 21, 20 is on. Um, via the Roebuck 3 arrival. Transponder. Two left, Boston, altimeter 3019. Via fire mode, Charlie, for now. Then via Roebuck 3 arrival. ADSB with our nav lights. 3019, American 21, 21. Radio. We'll test when we cross center. Climb and maintain 10,000. Attitude yeah, indicator, speed. turn coordinator, and manual brakes. We'll test on the roll. Heading indicator to compass. Let's get that set. The 683 squawk 4723. 4723 now, Delta 683. Well, that sounds quiet. Are we ready to make a call yet? Boston Center, November 8033, Foxtrot, on the ground at New Bedford with the numbers, looking for wings, IFR 11, IFR 2 Plymouth. November 8033, Foxtrot, Boston Center, good evening, wings, IFR 11 approved, cleared to, uh, actually I'm going to get you, I'm going to work a little bit here on your routing, I'll call you right back. Roger, November 8033, Foxtrot. November 1, Kilo Alpha, clear direct Albany. Delta 683, climb and maintain for level 280. 280 now, Delta 683. Next 1740, contact New York approach 128.12. Air 
Uh, yeah, before my upgrade, I was running X plane 12, so patiently, on an I-7 at 7700K. So yours is one year newer than mine. So, yeah. Theoretically, yours would perform better than mine did. Seven Tango Juliet, runway two four, clear to land, wind two four zero at one one. Clear land, runway two four, uh, Sky X seven Tango Juliet. Austin Chen, the Diplo two eighteen, do you mind if we pause for about three minutes to figure something out? Diplo two eighteen. Let me uh, have a look here, stand by. Diplo two eighteen, you, um, you're just leaving New York. Is, is there a way you can wait on that for a couple minutes, or do you need to kind of do it now? All right, gonna pick a new route. Cross Lamore at a maintain 6000, Stewart Altimeter 3019. Good jet 225, cross Lamore at a maintain 6000. Alright, we're going to try this one. Is that Sierra Sierra, Oscar X-Ray Sierra? Still go slant alpha. Says it would be 31 DME on the 0901 radio from Providence. Okay, let's try that.
over 3-3 Fox Trots, let me know when you have the new routing set up and uh, we'll get you going from there. We'll go November 3-3 Fox Trot. And it's 24-16, descend and maintain level 220. Alright, that'll work. So, SSOXS. It is 31. DME from Providence. Number 7, Tango Juliet, turn left, and exit the ramp, have a good one. DME from Boston. Give him a shoot you. Number 1, Kilo Alpha, Squawk 4740. Right, we'll, we'll try to file that one, see if that one will work. Um, applying the approach direct from Providence, is that going to work? Vector T25, so make sure you're going to uh, make that crossing of a more at 6,000. Okay, thanks. American 2121, contact Boston, approach 133.0, have a good one. Switching over to approach 330, American 2121, happy New Year's. K2. Everyone, Q Alpha, I'm at altitude, climb and maintain one, crushing climb and maintain for level 260. That's going to be your final for traffic. Your uh, point level 260 for uh, one kilo alpha. Boston Center, good evening, Air Canada 591 with you, passing through flight level 7000 for 14000. Canada 591, Boston Center, climb and maintain for level 340. 340 for you're going to find anyone. Boston Center, November 33, three, Foxtrot, New Bedford, IFR, Plymouth with the numbers. November 33, three, Foxtrot, um, let me see if that works here, stand by. That one should work. I don't see why that one wouldn't work. Unless it just doesn't comply with the approach for some reason. November 33, Foxtrot, cleared to the Plymouth Airport via Red Vector Sox, direct Papa Vector Delta, direct, climb and maintain 2000, squawk 5342. Clear to the Plymouth Airport via Radar Vector Sox, direct Providence, direct 2,000 feet, squawk 5342, November 8033, Fox Trap. 33 Fox Trap, back is correct. New Bedford altimeter 3023. Expect runway 23 and advise ready to taxi. 023, and we'll let you know when ready. November 33, Fox Trap. Set at 2416, cross crank out of maintain 7000. The steward altimeter 3019. The 2416 cross crank at a maintain 7000, the steward altimeter 3019er. Sec jet 225, contact right. New York approach 128.55, take care. So let's get Providence set up here in nav 1. 
Let's get Boston VOR set up and nav two one one two point seven. Okay. That's right. Canada six sixty nine Boston Center. taxi. Let's go ahead and do a run up. Uh, it's cold enough. Uh, we can just do a run up right here. Um, let's make sure there's nobody behind us and uh, we look clear there. All right. Make sure it's going to watch. 4751. Okay. Uh, fuel is on both. Trim is set for takeoff. Flight controls down on the right. Up on the left, down on the left, up on the right. Elevator and rudder are working. Alright, 1800, here we go. Mag test. Left mag, there's our drop. Right mag, there's our drop. Uh, no carpet in this one, we're fuel injected. Oil pressure, oil temperature looks good. Suction's in the green. Good fuel flow. Alright, let's go ahead and idle back. Boston Center, hello, Connor Drum and Fox Hot Climbing uh, 140. Yes, on the real 172, your mixture control does have a fine adjustment. It's called a vernier control. It has a coarse and fine adjustment by twisting and pushing the button and pulling in and out. Boston Center, November 33, Foxtrot, New Bedford, ready taxi. November 33, Foxtrot, runway 23, taxi via Bravo Alpha, cross runway 14. 23 via Bravo Alpha, cross 14, November 33, Foxtrot. November 50, Foxtrot X ray, holding short 2 niner at Bravo at Worcester, ready for takeoff. Number 0, Foxtrot X ray, on course approved, runway 2 niner at Bravo, clear for takeoff. Okay. Cross one four. Okay. Okay, six seventy seven Boston Center wind at three. Let's wait for this baggage guy to get out of the way. Turn right heading two eight zero. Runway two four. Quick take off.
Alright, 210. It's coming from that way, so I need to grab into the wind that way. New Bedford, information, Lima, 19, 40, Zulu, arriving, runway, Bravo. 2, 3, departing, Alpha. runway, 2, 3, weather, cross, two, one, one, eight, zero, one four. At 6 knots. We are cleared to cross, and miles. Sky I'm clear. going to look, temperature, niner, 2.5, clear, altimeter, 3, zero, two, three. advise on initial contact, you have, information, Lima, Zero Fox for next round of contact to 2500. New Bedford information Lima 1940 Zulu arriving runway 23 departing runway 23 weather wind 210 degrees at 6 knots visibility more than 10 miles sky clear temperature 9 2.5 altimeter 3023 advise on initial contact you have information Lima Responding 4000, heading 280. New Bedford, information. Parker 677, radar contact, climb on 18100, proceed direct veers. Climb 10000, direct veers, Walker 677. To number 1, Kilo Alpha, to set and maintain the level 220. Kilo Alpha, descend to maintain for level 677, climb and maintain 1414,000, that's going to be your final. 14,000, climb maintain 14,000, walker 677. I'm in. 677, declare direct crank. Turn around, make sure there's nobody behind direct me. Direct crank, walker 677. Alright, there's nobody behind me. I'm going to... Five, crush on Twin Star 5, Fox Drop Mike, contact New York Center, 134.12, have a good night. Step off of the center line for a minute. 134.12, the heavy New York Center. We've got a bit of a long flight ahead of us. Thanks. I'm going to go use the restroom now. I apologize, but I'll be right back. Parking brake on. All right, people can get by if needed. Let's lean out for just a second. So 3829, Boston Center, welcome to Bradley, all 7 3 on. Be right back. Three zero Sorry. Three zero three time. Speed to three two zero or greater. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can do three two zero or greater. Um, I'm, I believe I can only do around uh, two six zero, but I'll try to get her up walker six seven seven. Hey, no worries, Stooge Ken. Maintain two five zero knots, and uh, you can continue to crank for now. I have a quick vector for you for spacing, but maintain two five zero knots. Maintain two five zero. Walker six seven seven. The thirty eight twenty nine. Clear to right crank. Maintain best forward speed. 
Alright, doesn't look like anybody's had to pipe, had to pass us. So hopefully we didn't interfere with too much. Okay. Let's get scooted back up here. Read some leg controls. Parking brakes back off. Make sure it's going back rich. Number 9041 Sierra Echo Boston Center, safe position. I'm just looking for you here. November 904 Echo K, and uh, it sounded like you were checking out, but maybe you just like a, would you have a VFR request or something? paperwork on you. Did you talk to another controller before me, or what is it that you're doing? Yeah, where do you want to go? Alright, number 9041 Sierra Echo, squawk 4755. Uh, uh, Amstein, thank you so much for those bits. 100 bits, thank you so, so much. Greatly appreciate it. Number 05 for the X-ray contact, Boston approach, 133.0. Uh, can you just give me the waypoint app, please? 133.0, Boston approach, Boston approach, Boston approach. What's going on? Apologies, I must have stepped. 3829, just looking for the current waypoint on the screen. Can't find it at the moment. 3829, you should find it on the Flossy. Oh, I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong one, actually. That's why I dealt the 3829 Direct Baysy. Direct Baysy, 329, thank you. It's the Heart 3 arrival, isn't it? Thanks, sorry about that. No worries, thank you. United, uh, actually, this record. Canada 82, contact Cleveland Center 119.87. 19.875 for Canada 82, thank you. Delta 683, say mock number. Mock point 783 for Delta 683. American 1735, say mock point 830. Parker 677, resume normal speed, cross. Frank, how to maintain 7,000, the steward altimeter 3019er. Uh, cross crank at 7,000, normal speed, and 3019er, Walker 677. Delta 3829, resume normal speed, cross crank, crushing cross, Daisy, how to maintain 8,000, steward altimeter 3019er. Uh, return normal speed, uh, apologies, return normal speed, uh, cross Daisy at 8. And um, a car temperature 3019, thank you. November 1, Sierra Echo Radar contact 30 miles southwest of Bradley Airport. Uh, verify you have information echo and expect runway 24. See your echo, verify you have Bradley information echo, expect runway 24. Number 9041, see your echo. Number 1, see echo, verify you have information echo, expect runway 24. Descend to maintain one six thousand. The Albany altimeter three zero one four. Three zero one six thousand for uh, one kilo alpha. American Christian Delta six eighty eight. Oh, that's United United six eighty eight. I'm Boston, sir. I'm uh, with you here, uh, United six eighty eight. Uh, six eighty eight. Roger. Descend via the Roebuck three arrival runway two two left. Boston altimeter three zero one nine. Uh, 
United 2416, contact New York approach 128.55, so long. Boston Center, November 33, Foxtrot, runway 23, number 1, ready, IFR. Number 33, Foxtrot, fly runway heading, runway 23, clear for takeoff. Runway heading, clear for takeoff, November 33, Foxtrot. Two thousand feet, runway heading. Strobes going on. Winds are out of two one zero, so we're gonna need a little bit of wind correction, not too much. A little bit of displaced threshold here, we can use this for takeoff. Ease into that power, hold that rudder, put that wind correction in. Alright, airspeed's coming alive. Neutral and rotate. Positive brake. All right, there's our VOR from Providence. All right, so we know that station's working. Transat 382, Roger. Climb 2,000 feet. I'll tell you what, let's trim for this climb. Good evening, Mark 1374, with you, direct news and starting to send out a Walker 1370 for Boston Center, welcome. November 33, Fox Trot, right there, contact, say, Alex. Boston Center, November 33, Fox Trot, 1300, climbing 2000. 33, Fox, I think I stepped in you there, say again, your altitude. 1,500, climbing 2,000. Three Fox Trot, thank you. Climb and maintain 3,000. Turn right, heading 360. 3,000, 360, November 3, 3 Fox Trot. American 1735, descend and maintain for level 240. Transition to 300 knots or greater. And there is our Boston VOR. Alright, so both stations are working. Delta 683 is at a maintain for level 240, transition to 290 knots or less. Descend down to 240, transition to 290 knots or less for Delta 683. Hubs 125, Austin Center, climb and maintain for level 350. I maintain level 350, left Panzer 425. Panzer 425, squawk 4716. Reset 4716, left Panzer 425. Delta 3829, County New York Center 132.17, have a good one. Uh, 132.17, United Pacific Eastern. Carewalker 677, contact New York Approach 128.55. 2855, Walker 677, see ya. Air Canada 8607, descend via the ocean. Final arrival, runway 22 left, Boston, altimeter 3018. Walker, clear to 
descend uh, via the Ocean 5. Our natural descent points are marked at uh, Kennebunk POR, just out of the line, 486 or something. Walker 1374, Clinton Run Pro V, descend via the Roebuck 3 Rattle, runway 2 2 left, Boston Altimeter 3019. Clear Pro V and cleared uh, descent via for the Roebuck 3, Boston Line 2 2 left. Alright, we're almost 3000, we'll level off here. 33 Foxtrot, turn right heading 080. 080, November 33 Foxtrot. For 1 Sea Echo, Port Bradley at sight. November 1, Sierra Echo, report Bradley Airport in sight. Look at 1735, go ahead. I just confirmed whether it's 280 or 240 for me. Look at 1735, maintain for level 240, 24, and then your speed is 300 knots per meter. Bottom of center, JetBlue 2832, 116,000, good evening. JetBlue 2832, Boston Center, hello. Number 9041, Sierra Echo, go to Bradley. Boston Center, November 941, Sierra Echo, say again. Sierra Echo, advise, you have Bradley Airport in sight. Roger, November 941, Sierra Number one kilo alpha descend now, maintain one five thousand. Right. There's New Bedford where we just took off from. Uh, how to maintain six thousand. Steward altimeter three zero one nine. Roger you're down to uh, one five thousand. We'll cross loves at uh, six thousand. Uh, can you confirm the altimeter for us? Steward altimeter three zero one nine. Three zero one nine thinks uh, one kilo alpha. Primary 42 level to Boston Center, welcome. Descend and maintain flight level 230. 230 at this time, Primary 4211, will do. And it's 688 squawk 4713. Foxtrot, uh, I've got some weather in Dallas to reach you here for Plymouth. Uh, Bye is ready to copy. November 33, Foxtrot, ready to copy. 33, Foxtrot, 0152 Zulu weather, wind 200 at 5, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 8, 2.6, centimeter 3022. And notices to air missions, runway 624, change to 4,650 feet by 750 feet. Declared distance uh, for runway, let me see here. Uh, Declared distance runway 6, uh, ASTA is 4650, LDA 4650. And for runway 24, ASTA 4650, LDA also 4650. And there's some distances as well for runway 1533. That's been changed to 4650 by 75 feet with the same uh, distances there for landing as well. Uh, the Alice runway 6 uh, says disregard note autopilot coupled approach not authorized below 1050, so that note does not apply. And the uh, sequenced FLG light is obscured. We'll enable set approach request. Uh, we will go in like the uh, ILS runway localizer 06, November 32, Foxtrot. Number 33, Foxtrot, or Roger. The uh, expected ILS runway 6 approach. I'll have to direct the SOX here and then direct Providence right here in a second. Uh, expect ILS 06 approach and talk to you soon, November 32, Foxtrot. Number 683, have a great night and a happy day. Your contact Cleveland Center, 119 What am I going to do after I complete all the wings? Well, I have five. Well, I. 688, contact Boston approach, 133.0, good day. What do you do after you get your driver's license? Drive. Good 
So we'll fly. <laughs> I highly recommend the wings readings to anybody. It hasn't cleared me yet. Just going to 4 to 5, maybe step away for 5 minutes. Time to 425, I'm going to head back. Boston awesome, Center, November 33, Fox I don't know if I misunderstood. Did you clear me in direct Sox and direct Providence? 33, Fox thanks for checking. No, not yet. I'm just waiting for you to get a good angle on the intercept. Uh, another couple miles and then I'll have a play. Roger, November 33, Fox. Direct Sox, November 33, Fox Trot. Walk is live, thank you for the follow. Direct Sox, November 33, Fox Trot. Walk is live, thank you for the follow. Direct Sox, November 33, Fox Trot. Walk is live, thank you for the follow. Direct Sox, November 33, Fox Trot. Walk is live, thank you for the follow. Direct Sox, November 33, Fox Trot. Walk is live, thank you for the follow. Direct Sox, November 33, Fox Trot. Walk is live, thank you for the follow. Direct Sox, November 33, Fox Trot. Walk is live, thank you for the follow. Direct Sox, November 33, Fox Trot. Walk is live, thank you for the follow. Direct Sox, November 33, Fox Trot. Walk is live, thank you for the follow. Direct Sox, November 33, Fox Trot. Walk is live, thank you for the follow. Direct Sox, November 33, Fox Trot. Walk is live, thank you for the follow. Direct Sox, November 33, Fox Trot. Walk is live, thank you for the follow. Direct Sox, November 33, Fox Trot. Walk is live, thank you for the follow. Direct Sox, November 33, Fox Trot. Walk is live, thank you for the follow. Direct Sox, November 33, American 1776, Boston Center, climb and maintain for level 230. Level 230, now for 1776. Boston Center, uh, 1 kilo alpha, sleep at 15,000 for 6,000. Then over 1 kilo alpha, roger. Transat 382, descend and maintain for level 320. Chevy 2832 cross Bayzi at a maintain 8000. The steward altimeter 3019er. Bayzi 19 cross Bayzi at a maintain 8000. Chevy 2832. Boston said, you said you want to write Highland. Boston Center, 123.75. Uh, 
Bravo 1 Sierra Echo, do you have the airport in sight? November 941 Sierra Echo does not have the airport in sight. I'm looking right now, so we can find it. Wake is loud. I heard my personal ROTC series, but nothing but great. In my experience with them. Sierra Echo, should be off about your 9 o'clock uh, and 7 miles. No rush, but let me know when you get it inside, please. Impulse is in our road in 1776. Can we stay away for 5 minutes if possible? In 1776. Climb and maintain for level 280. Let me know when you're back. Roger, up to 280. Thanks so much, American. Alright, we're going direct to American 88 cross BC at a maintain 8000, steward altimeter 3019. November 941 Sierra Echo, uh, Kilo Bravo Delta Lima is in sight. Once Sierra Echo, enter left base runway 24, wind 1807, runway 24, clear to land. Contact boss on approach 133.0. Got a 133.0 for Prime Air 4211. Prime Air 4211, that wasn't for you. If you're still here, you can remain with me. Money on raids, that's awesome. Candidate 8607, contact boss on approach 133.0. I'm assuming you're with your boss on the other TCC. On approach to the three oh four. Nightwalker 1374, contact approach 133.0. 425, thank you. Leave my airspace. The Moncton Center is closed. Radar service terminated. Frequency change approved. Have a good one. Our Kinecom, uh, happy new year. Lufthansa 425. Cheers. See you, thanks. Photo coverage of the entire United States and Alaska, and I found a great um, library of resource. It works for X Plane 11 and X Plane 12. Um, for those that run Ortho photos, it will uh, remove the autogen drawn roads, but still retain the road assets like the cars and the street lights. Uh, 422 after. Actually, Velo 422 clear direct Loves, that's Lima, Oscar, Victor, Echo Sierra, and then direct New Haven. It's really kind of, uh, from an altitude standpoint, made it look a lot nicer. 422 does that maintain 6,000, the steward altimeter 3019. 6,000, I'm 422. For one kilo alpha, kind of New York Center, 132.17, good night.
Yep, I agree. It doesn't get rid of all of them, like the highways. It still draws some of the highways. It draws to the elevated roads, like bridges and things like that. But a lot of your uh, rural roads are made transparent, essentially. Um, it is called X roads, just like that. X roads. Three three Fox Trot cross Providence at three thousand. Cleared ILS runway six approach. Cross Providence at three thousand. Cleared ILS runway six approach. November three three Fox Trot. Prime Air forty two on the Boston Center. You're welcome. Um, I, I think it's really neat. Number one, Sierra Echo, make the next left turn and contact ground, point niner. That's uh, one, two, one, point nine. Center, contact ground on 121.9. The digitizer on my tablet sometimes doesn't like to cooperate. Like you got like a minute and a half to get down. Uh, roger that. I was uh, cleared for lower. Or I thought I was waiting for cleared for lower. Uh, we can go ahead and start descending here. I'm still at 16,000. Record 5580. I have your markers if I gave it to you, but you didn't. American 5588, turn right, heading 320, back to for sequence, set to maintain 8000. So maintain 8000, we'll uh, turn right, heading 320. Mayor Canada 591, still at Boston Center. You can expect to rejoin the arrival at Bayesi. I'll just give you a quick uh, spin around to the north. Roger that. American 5588. And remember, we're not landing here. We're, we're going to go miss. Actually, yeah, New York says they can take you, so just keep the right turn going. Turn right, direct Bayesi, and resume the harp pre arrival. Alright, right, uh, let's do a 360 here towards Bayesi and uh, descend down 8000 and uh, join Bayesi there, American 5580. Portsmouth altimeter 2, crush in Portsmouth altimeter 3013. 
Situation of awareness. I'm not sure why my vacuum light on. November 14, Victor, descend via the uh, robot three seems arrival, to be running two, two left, just fine. I don't know if it's a problem with the data left from the up, working with air manager or not. Um, um, all the instruments they look good. Suction's good. Oil pressure. Oil temperature's good. Direct Basie, contact New York Center, one three two point one seven. Have a good day. So on the inbound, we're going to go 23.9 DME out from Providence until we intercept 12.4 DME from the localizer frequency. Seven or at seventeen hundred. And six hundred and sixty. Even about the turn, so three point five we see a level eight two point four point five uh miles from Schlepp. Southwest eight forty five also center have a climb and maintain for level one nine or zero. This is Boston VOR and DME. And we got the Providence VOR and DME. Alright, Boston VOR, 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 Boston So once we cross um, Providence, we'll fly that out um, on a 234 heading. And then we'll... Uh, Southwest 845, climb and maintain. Turn back around. Uh, we're inbound. 240, Granted, while I have the 430 here, I do challenge myself to try and do all of these ratings and slant alpha if possible. All 
right? 3.4, 3.3 DME from Providence. So I'm going to assume it's right there at the airport. say we're going to fly that out on a 234 heading. And Boston Center American for Pete 76 I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I have to do this to you. Uh, we're going to still wait here for another minute and a half. Okay, no worries. Uh, so I'm going to be back. I'm going to be coming to New York Center, 132.17. Have a good flight. Uh, 132, 1, 7, HHD, having a year, South Coast, 8, 4, Toronto. Okay. Number 4, 2, Vector, contact, Boston, approach, 133.0, good night. 33.0, Alright, one mile out. Okay, number 1, Tango Alpha, Portsmouth, Crescent, Portland, Delta, 3011. 3011, one, one, one Alright, let's track that 234 radio. United 2614 Boston Center. Alright, there's one minute. Let's go 45 degrees to the right. Twenty six fourteen Boston Center. Boston Center American seventeen seventy six is finally back. All right. Seventeen seventy six, thanks. The center maintains a level two zero zero. Let's go another minute out. I think I did that wrong. I think I should have done maybe 15 degrees. procedure turn back in there. Boston 
Procedure turn into the hold is not accurate. that one up. But we should still be able to cross the VOR the same heading. Zero niner niner. Is that right? Zero niner niner. And we're gonna go outbound for twenty three point nine miles. Starbox sixty four, flight level three two four, four minutes three seven zero. Starbox sixty four, you reach the frequency and error contact boss center on one two three point seven five. Boston Center, Jeff Loop 2145, 13.5, climbing 17,000, direct mayor. 
Close you are to the VOR, well, the harder they are to track. Alaska 840, turn left heading 320, expect direct Syracuse. Turn 1320, expect direct Syracuse for Alaska uh, 840. JetBlue 2145, clear direct to Roebuck. Quick Roebuck, JetBlue 2145. Nuclear power plant over there. And one by six localizer frequency was what? I know I wrote it down here. Did I write it down? I know we talked about it. Hey, a one zero nine or point three five. Never fifty forty four to send a pilot's discretion, maintain five thousand. Send uh, to five thousand at Deborah fifty forty four. Ski forty clutter at Syracuse. fusion plant. That could very well be possible. Melvin Leroy, hello sir. Sorry I didn't see you there a little bit ago. Welcome. We are attempting our wings IFR 11. So we've got the localizer. Uh, we've got Providence VOR. We're now 15.3 DME on 099er outbound. We're looking for, uh, what are we looking for? 
minor. Is that right? Yep, 23 point minor. Number one, Tango Alpha, Gust Altimeter 3009. And that'll put us at Bird. And we need to cross Burke at 3000. I believe 2145 descend via the Roe Fox 3 arrival, runway 22 left, Boston altimeter 3019. Descend via the Roe 3 arrival, 22 left. Bravo uniform, Victor Kilo at the Roe. Cross that at 3000. adjustment to get that VOR back. And then we do have our runway localizer here on NAV1. So we were cleared for the approach. So once I'm established on the localizer, we'll go ahead and fly it. 19.8, what were we looking for? 29.3. Canada 8612, Austin, Center, Climate, maintain for level 3.9. Okay, close. Our needle should start swinging in here. Trying to run a traffic observe between you and Plymouth report IFR cancellation and missed approach with me. Change to advisory frequency approved. Uh, we report cancellation if need be or missed over to advisory. November 33, Fox Trot. Talk to you soon. Our 33 Foxtrot is 13 miles southwest on the ILS 06 approach, Plymouth. Once she grabs the vertical, we'll start our descent. And uh, once we establish on the vertical. Alright, let's pull our power back. Let's go full ridge. We're right. We're a little bit low.
Come on, get back on that localizer. All right, 6.4 DME, and at 5.7 we can be at 1700. A bit high. Let's get down there. Need flaps 10. Prepare for a bubble up. Alright, let's just kind of slip it in there real quick. One mile visibility. Plymouth traffic, November 8033, Fox Trot, final approach, 06, Plymouth. Alright, we're 700 feet. I don't have my airport environment made. Let's go ahead and go mist. Put that power back in. Plymouth traffic, November 33, Fox Trot, Mr. Perch, Plymouth. And we need a heading of 100, 2000 feet. Urgent 12 off of 10 area, climb climb and maintain for the full 330, clear direct Alex. Jury clear 330, direct Alex to Urgent 12 heavy. Boston Center, November 33, Foxtrot, Mr. Pooch. 33, Foxtrot, Roger. Climb and maintain 3000 and say intentions once you're established in the hold. Climb, maintain 3000 and we'll state intentions in the hold, November 33, Foxtrot. Climb 2000, Boston 112.7 on the 162 radio. Let's get our flaps up. And I knew she was going to drop down there. Number 
one Tango Alpha, the Bangor Alpha Day 3006, six pack visual approach, runway 15. Tango Alpha, proceed direct to El Kippy, expect to RNAV runway 1-5 approach. Sedition 226, Gulf Romeo, Boston Center, clear to LaGuardia Airport as filed. Climb and maintain 2000. Expect plausible 2201, zero, zero, attached to departure. Squawk. Three, four, seven, six. We're almost to our one, six, two. Six, call from AO, uh, 2000 is the initial. You can expect on the bull two, two, zero, one, zero, and time to departure. Read back is correct. Advise ready to taxi from way two, four. American 2156, Boston Center. Three thousand five hundred, we need to climb three thousand. Six call for you are requesting higher than level two two zero is the final, am I understanding correctly? Yes, sir, uh, I think yes for let's say two Okay, I see your question now. Uh well we'll set up for level two two zero for now. And uh, Chuck will be in the air here. Uh, maybe I can do better for you down the line. We'll just see what the traffic looks like once you're actually up there. I appreciate it. All right, here we are, 3,000 feet. Rebel 1, contact Cleveland Center, 119.87. Have a good flight. 119.87, Cleveland Center, Rebel 1. Thanks for the control. Oh, gotta go the other way. Boston Center, Delta 1265 is with you, passing 8,500 for 14,000. Delta 1265, Boston Center, climb and maintain for level 220. I'm at 220, that's what's expected. Alright, let's go outbound for a minute. American 2156, Los Angeles. Sorry about that, 2156, it is back. Oh, thanks. United 2055, contact Boston approach 133.0, have a good one. 132, nothing, good night and happy new year, United 2055. Good to American, the question American 2156, contact New York Center 125.32, take care. 125.32, United 180 degree turn to the right, but it's standard rate. Number one, Tango Alpha, cross Okipi, out or above 4,000, cleared our nav, runway 1 5 approach. Okipi, out or above 4,000, cleared our nav 1 5. Five seventy eight, Q to the IFR, request say again. 
Boston Center, November 33, Foxtrot. Sorry for the late check in. We were established in the hold. We would like IFR to our alternate Papa Whiskey Mike. For 8033 Foxtrot, stand by on request. Who else called? Did you find some Yankee advisor ready to taxi? One minute. Runway 24. 57 Yankee, runway 24, taxi via Alpha Charlie, cross runway 15. Yankee, taxi to taxi Alpha Charlie, cross. Alpha West 1542 Boston Center, are you with me? Roger, uh, flight 11 1542. 1542, thanks. Descend via the Roebuck 3 arrival, runway 22 left, Boston Altimeter 3018. Okay, send me the Roebuck 322 left, 3018, shelter 1542. Canada 414, cross Albany at the main team, level 240. 240 at Albany, uh, American. Cover 33 Foxtrot, change to my frequency 133.45, November 33 Foxtrot. 8612, descend via the Ocean 5 arrival, runway 22 left, the Boston altimeter 3018. Ocean 5 arrival, 22 left, okay, 612. Division 6, call from here, wind 2207, turn right at 250, runway 24, quit for takeoff. Boston Center, November 33, Fox Trot, level 3000. 33, Fox Trot, thanks, I'll get right back to you. Oh, we'll go past a minute there. Standard rate turn. Let's try and maintain 3,000. Stay coordinated through this. Didn't have enough wind correction in that one. Station six call from here, radar contact, climb and maintain one zero thousand, say altitude. Station six 
Seven Yankee on departure, turn left heading 180, runway 24, clear for takeoff. United 2136, Boston Center. See if we can do that hold a bit better. Boston Center. Boston Center, November 33, Fox Trap. It's just me and you here at 3345. Um, just wanted to give you the feedback on the uh, previous approach. If you look just under the Providence VOR on the chart, it says procedure not authorized for arrival on Providence VOR DME airway radio 093 clockwise to 132. And that's just there because it can be tricky to make the sharp turn around and then be able to track the 099 outbound radio to above key if you come at Providence from within that general area. Your track was exactly one degree outside of the prohibited area, so that's why I allowed you to do that. However, when you flew the approach over the Providence VOR, it looked like you went considerably south of the VOR initially, then you kind of turned back around and then ended up going on toward Bovki. All of that really doesn't t typically work for us, so what I think would make the most sense is if you wanted to try the approach again, uh, we can either do that um, now or if you want we can do that on a different day. And maybe fly that from something like the Martha's Vineyard VOR, that would get you a little bit further uh, to the south and then it would kind of give you a better angle to fly the approach on, it might make a little more sense. Understood. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, cancel for this evening due to time, um, and we'll just have to try it again another day. Sure, Archer, um, like I said, hopefully that makes sense as to why that why that's set up that way, and then I think it should be easier for you the next time through. Um, do you want to go land somewhere like Boston, or you want to land at New Bedford, or do you want to just exit out here? Uh, let's see. Uh, we can go ahead and make a final at Boston, November 33, Fox. Fox track, clear to Boston Airport, via putting 330, maintain 3000. Clear Boston, heading 330, maintain 3000, November 33, Fox track. First 6 Golf, I mean, I'm working on higher for you, but uh, just get a clear bit of traffic first. Break the number 57 Yankee, radar contact to 1500. Expect the ILS runway 24 approach, Nantucket, I'll take the So, three, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to figure out what I did wrong or why that didn't necessarily work. As far as uh, how I should have turned around um, at that POR. So that's something I'll have to read up on. So we filled our IFR 11 rating. Uh, unfortunately, Evan was nice enough to give us a little bit of feedback about why. Number six, Golf Romeo, climb and maintain for level 220. Have your request for hire. South, question number 33, Foxtrot, contact Boston Approach 133.0. Just check out where you're heading. Approach 133.0, November 33, Foxtrot. Thank you for your service. Have a great new year. United 2136, Boston Center. Thank you. In November 57 Yankee, turn left heading 140. 15 percent of maintain 4000. Descending 4000, United 280. Fox Rosella 3738, file 
123 heavy boss on approach, hello boss, altimeter 3018, expect the ILS 22 to left. 22 to left for 123 heavy. Medic 218, contact the tower 128.8. Medic 128.8, United 280. Medic 2055 heavy, reduce the final contact the tower 128.8. 128, 8, 9, 20, 50, 50. Westjet, hello friend, how are you? Welcome. We attempted our wings IFR 11 rating. Uh, messed up on a couple of things, so we're going to have to redo it again. Uh, but we learned uh, a couple of ways how not to apply the wings IFR rating. Boston approach, good day. You're Canada 8612. Would you passing uh, 13.346000? Hope you've had a good Friday. Canada 8612, Boston approach, hello, Boston 8th, hotel, 2318, expect dial on 221. Good to the last one, Canada 8612. Bad 16, 0, disregard. Doing pretty good today as well. Thank you for asking. That is 1609 turn right heading 130. Right heading 130. I think what I'll take from away from this is that I probably should have filed a different route um, to get a better access to that VOR. And we'll talk a little bit more about that once we get back to the FBO after we land at Boston. Matt at 1609, team is a right turn, right turn heading 190, join the runway 22 left localizer. Join the runway 22 left localizer for 18 right. 14 miles away. Boston National Cargo 8869, follow 220 descending via hotel. National Cargo 8869, Boston Approach, hello, Boston, or National Cargo 8869, Heavy Boston Approach, good evening, Alpha the visual for 2-2 two, two right, but yeah, we'll, we'll figure out an easier way, or a different way to go about um, flying right, this approach. 1609 is 3 from Wayne, maintain 3,000 south south, it's on the wolf, we'll have a clear aisle, turn on 2-2 left approach, maintain 170 north or greater, tell focus. Alright, clear aisle, turn on 2-2 left approach, and we are still on the wolf, There's a Norwich VOR. Martha's Vineyard VOR. The Martha's Vineyard VOR, if I were to find the approach from there, it'd put me Contact one degree out. On 128. Uh, 128. Uh, it's almost right in that no-fly zone anyway. Fox 64 to set maintain 3000. Starbucks 2 4. We're looking at Fly President heading to center maintain 4,000 vectors ILS on my 2 2 left. We'll look at that closer shortly. 4,000 vectors ILS 2 2 left. Ducking out 86 
a little bit of clouds, not too many though. in on a right downwind instead of a left downwind. Air Canada, 8612, reduce speed 190. 190, okay, 6204. Our Fox 64 is free from Wayne, maintain 3000, total status on the localizer, cleared ILS, from like 22 left approach, maintain 190 knots or greater to call advise. Maintain 3000 to establish clear dial left to just approach, uh, maintain 190 knots until advised star 564. Canada 8612, turn left heading 250, join the runway 22 left localizer, maintain 190 knots. 250, join the localizer 190 knots, okay, Boston departure, good, at, good evening, JetBlue 258, climbing through 2000 feet up to 5000 feet. 258 Boston departure, radar contact, time to maintain 114,000. Climb maintain 114,000 feet, JetBlue 258. Canada 8612, reduce speed 160 knots, so to maintain 3,000 until that was on the localizer. Your two from Wayne cleared ILS, right 22 left approach, 160 knots, tell focus. 160 until focus, 3,000 cleared ILS, two, two left approach, okay, 860. Close 3738, turn right, heading 130, descent and maintain, correction, 190, descent and maintain 3000. 190, 3000, 3738. Turn Fox 64, maintain 180 knots or greater, tell focus. 180 knots or greater, tell focus, rest star Fox 64. Canada 8612, reduce the final approach speed. Final approach speed, Canada 8612. Seventeen zero seven. Turn left, heading three three zero. Left three three zero. Left three three zero. Fox sixty four. Contact the tower on one two eight point eight. Wait, decimal eight. Thanks for the C S R Fox sixty four. Canada eighty six twelve. Verify your reducing to final approach. Yeah, we're uh, one eighty down to one three one knots. Southwest thirty seven. 38 is two miles from Noli. Maintain 3000 until that was on the localizer. Cleared ILS, runway 22 left approach. Maintain 190 knots or greater until advised. Alright, uh, clear for front localizer. 3000 plus down west, cleared ILS, 22 left, 190 until advised. That's the third down today. 1707, turn left heading 250. Boston is directly off our right wing, about 9 miles out. Canada, 86 South Boston Airport, 12 o'clock, about 8 miles before the airport in sight. In sight. And I uh, can you accept if you're right? Uh, yep. Alright, this will make separation a lot easier. Clear visual approach from my GG right, contact the tower on 128.8. Uh, visual to the right, then tower on 128.8, okay, uh, Uh, 
Boston Tower, November 8033 Foxtrot, six miles west to land. Six miles west of the field, through runway 22 two, right. Runway 33 Foxtrot, Roger, make right base for runway 22 two, right, runway 22 two, right, clear to land. Right base for 22 two, right, 22 two, right, clear to land, November 8032 Foxtrot. Southwest 3738, welcome to Boston, cross runway 22 two, right at Charlie, ground point 9 or good night. 22 right at Charlie, ground point 9 or south, 3738, Foxtrot. All right, let's grab that right base now. Field elevation is about 20 feet. National Cover 89 Heavy. I don't see that traffic. Number 833 Foxtrot, number 33 Foxtrot traffics at your 12 o'clock, one mile southwest bound landing, runway 22 left, 737 report site. Still don't have the traffic. We're still looking for that landing traffic, November 33 Foxtrot.
That's a runway, we're not going to exit there. Boston Ground, November 8033, Fox Shot, off of 22 right, holding short Quebec, taxi to parking. Alright, 033 Fox Shot, Boston Ground, hello, right Alpha to the ramp, have a good night. Right on Alpha to the ramp, November 8033, Fox Shot, good evening. Oh, that was a uh, sheet. Well, it sounded, well, they sounded familiar. Right on Alpha to the ramp. Alright, let's just uh, find a spot where our little airplane will be out of the way of all these big airplanes. Watch this baggage driver. Oh, I'm gonna watch this baggage driver. Alright, let's go. I think we're clear. Ground orbit 123 heavy off of TT Rag Kilo, we're going to Alpha 8. Mm -hmm. 123 heavy Boston ground, hello, taxi to the gate via Kilo, have a good night. Over the gate, over 123 Abby, take care. Alright, we're just 
Oh, that'll work. Uh, let's secure our aircraft real quick. Uh, avionics off, all of our lights are gonna go off. G5 is gonna go down. Mixture lean, flaps are up. Back to off. Tram reset for takeoff. Parking brake on. Alright, let's head back to the FBO and we will talk about what not to do next time. So we did not get our WINGS IFR rating um, this evening, uh, but as always, it was certainly a uh, learning flight. Let's, uh, let's briefly discuss real quick how we could have done things differently. Um, let's get back over here. So I, I kind of knew, you know, I, I knew going into this that we couldn't approach the VOR in between the, uh, well, essentially this 139 and the 146 radial. Yeah. Let's see, where was that approach? Let's look at this approach plate real quick again. Zero nine or three and the one three two radial. And we knew that we couldn't approach this VOR between the zero nine or three and one three two radial. Um, but when I checked the route advisor, um, I didn't see much more of a viable route. In fact, let's take a look at this again real quick. So none of, none of the routes um, that are current, you know, um, go to Providence that I found. So if we were to do this better, or differently, I suppose we could add some distance, depart New Bedford. So even if we make the approach from Martha's Vineyard BOR, it still puts us right on that cusp. But I guess we wouldn't have to make a turnaround there. And I guess we couldn't um, turn around over that BOR either. So how can we depart New Bedford and without using too much virtual avgas get to Providence uh, without having to do a funny turnaround? I guess we could fly to the We could fly to the Putnam VOR. We could fly to Providence and Putnam and then back to Providence. 
that would possibly work. Take off from here to the Providence. All right, I'm going to do some thinking about that. EWB to PYM. Let's see. Is there a tech route? No, there's no tech route for that. And maybe what we'll have to do is just burn a bit more ad gas. Because, yeah. like I said, I'm, ch I'm challenging to do this all slant alpha. Um, you know, so we need to be able to identify our fixes with VORs and DME. So that adds a bit more, um, adds a bit more of a challenge, I think. Yeah, that's that's probably just what we'll have to do. We could even we could go to the Norwich VOR, possibly the Putnam VOR. Either of those would bring us back into Providence at a better um, at a better angle to fly the approach. into Plymouth. That would work. We'll just pick a more westerly VOR. Melbourne, um, it, the, the flight itself went well. I mean, everything worked like it should. We did fail the rating. Um, should probably not have done a U-turn over a VOR. I figured we could make a hold there, but um, either way, we learned how not to fly the Wings IFR 11 rating. Right. And that's what that's what we'll take away. Next time we will fly to. That's probably what we'll do. We'll use a Norwich or Putnam VOR. See, that's got a hold there too. Uh, lots of things to think about, I think. Um, not sure when I'll try it next. Could be tomorrow, could be Monday. Back to the study board for me on that. I'll have to research how to prop. I mean, there's got to be a way you can make a turn around the VOR and not be disruptive. But I'm assuming that's what that. I mean, that looks like a hold symbol to me. Let's see. Okay. 
I guess I'm curious as if even I... Even if I flew the hold correctly... I don't know if that would work. So let's go ahead and put I guess that could work. Apply that out and then back in. That might work out a bit better. As opposed to going up to socks was the first route that we picked. Uh, we'll talk about it more the next time we go to do it, but we may look at doing that. And then from there we would go to... WM That's a long flight. That's gonna be a long one. Alright. I think that's it um, for this evening. I do want to thank everyone for coming in and hanging out. Wake is live. I do want to thank you for the follow there. And then uh, I want to uh, thank Emma Stein who shared those 100 bits earlier during the stream. So thank you so, so much for that, everyone. Um, WestJet, always a pleasure. I uh, hope you had a great time at Disney. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, either either way, I, I always learn something, whether we've passed the rating or not. It's always a, it's always a learning experience. Um, there's always something that I take away. And even if we're not on a rating, there's always something I take away. So, until the next time, um, hope you all take care and stay safe. If I don't talk to you beforehand, have a great and happy new year. Um, see who we can send you over to uh, for the rest of your evening all right i'll send you over to my buddy Stu, um stw222 who's on louisville tower right now in batson not sure how much longer he'll be on um but we'll send you over there um, for your continued entertainment until the next regularly unscheduled flight again uh, it is fun for me but flying is always more fun when it's more than one and you all make that happen so take care and stay safe and we will see you next time <laughs>